Now, you and I did a course together a few years ago, and now you're the Mr. Big of DNA in Scotland. <laughs> Tell me a bit about what you're doing here. So I should explain, Alistair MacDonald, University of Strathclyde, and with Family Tree DNA. That's correct, yes. Right, yes. tell me a bit about what your role is now, what you're doing with yourself. Well, I'm overseeing the Scottish DNA project on behalf of the university. Uh, it's run and hosted by Family Tree DNA, who I am the Scottish rep for. Uh, what we're doing is we're uh, helping people use their DNA to connect with the documentary paperwork. So it's a resource for people who've tested with the DNA to connect with others. And we're trying to see a bigger picture of uh, people groups, genetic families in Scotland. Uh, I also uh, provide uh, kits, obviously. The family tree DNA kits? The kits at a right, okay. price at the project prices. Okay. So people want to, rather than send it to America, yeah. they can actually get them in pound sterling uh, and that saves them some money. So let, let me ask you then, if, if I, I'm, a, I'm a wee shuggy sitting in large somewhere, you know, and I decide that the DNA is the thing for me, what do I do to do a DNA test? How, how do I go about going about the whole thing, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's quite straightforward. There's various companies who sell the kits. Yeah. Uh, the, one of the important things is to find a company that will give you a good service. And obviously, you want to be able to match other people. So think about the size of the database that you're going to match with. Uh, you also need to you know, have a clear idea of what you're actually wanting to get out of the test. Yeah. Are you wanting to follow your paternal ancestry or your maternal? Because there's uh, different tests for each, yes. isn't there? Yeah. 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 And so you, you have to have that clear. What's your problem you want to overcome? You yeah. want to overcome uh, uh, illegitimacy, uh, change the surname, uh, adoption, uh, that type of thing. So once you know that, you can actually send off for a kit yeah. to various avenues from myself or from uh, online. Okay. Uh, and the kit comes back to you, uh, it's a simple uh, swab in the side of your cheek, yeah. put back in the tube, send it off, and a couple of three or four weeks later, uh, your results will start coming through. I mean, when you get the results back, because I've done it, you, you get a lot of numbers, don't you? Yeah, yeah. What do you do with the numbers? Well, what you do is the numbers. The first thing is, you really want to be a part of a project, a surname project, or a it's called a Happel Group project, perhaps that's a family group. So if, uh, so if I'm a, a John Smith, yeah. then I get my results, maybe go for the Smith project then? And well, you want to try and be a bit more focused on that. You'd want to right. go for the Smiths in Scotland, obviously. Yeah. Right, OK, yeah. yeah. So you join a project, and that the project administrators are very helpful in helping yeah. you know, interpret the results. OK. Uh, so the, 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 the results will come back in a, a form of numbers, and these are represent uh, positions on your, say if there's a Y chromosome, positions on your Y chromosome, where you have a unique value at. These unique values uh, are compared against other people and when there's a good match, uh, say that of a 37 marker test, you'd be maybe looking at a 35 mark markers the same as somebody else. Uh, it's a good indication that there's a, a common connection. So the more numbers that you match up with somebody else's set of numbers, the closer your relationship is, is really to, to, you know. That's it. Yeah. Not it's so just to summarise it generally, yeah, though. Yeah. That's um, and the point is that you've got the, the project at Strathclyde. Yeah. But tell me a wee bit about what that project is and, and, and just what it does, really. You know. Well, it's sort of like an umbrella project for more of Scotland. Uh, we do have a lot of people who submit results to, from Ireland as well, north of Ireland in particular, yeah. because there's so much coming and going. People want to know where in Scotland they, they, they've left to go to America from Ireland. They do they know they're Scots Irish, for instance. So they Aye. want to try and match other people who've got a good paper trail in Scotland, who know where about geographically they are or origins in Scotland. Yeah. And that can help for them know where to look uh, in, the, in the documentary resources. Uh, so that, that's one aspect of it. We, we also do, do you host the database online? It's on, all online, yeah. What was the website for that then? If you, uh, if you if, can do well, the, the over umbrella uh, website is uh, www.scottishdna.net. Right, OK. And all the links will be there to uh, see the results uh, and what's offered. And of course, with Scotland, with all the clan projects and, yeah. and the island projects, well, there's a lot of projects, yeah, isn't there? Yeah. Well, right. The Scottish project, although we are an umbrella project, we actually want to help all the surname projects that are already running in Scotland. So we really want to encourage people to test so that it can help these other projects increase their, their membership and their participation. And the more members, the more people have tested, the better the cross matches uh, and the better results for everybody. Uh.
right. And with your other hat on then, Mr. Family Tree DNA in Scotland. That's a long title, Ali. You want to look under that? You know. <laughs> but if, if somebody decides, do you know what, I want to do Family Tree DNA then, you know, um, can you help them obtain the kits or yeah, do they, I, what do they do? There's an, uh, they can email me at alistairfamilytreedna.com. Right. I can send them a kit. There's a link on the website, the scottishdna.net website. Uh, right. And I can send them a kit. Actually, I uh, can explain further to them any problem. If they've got a, a particular problem they want to overcome, eh, or they want to, to try and challenge a, a, a well, we should explain, you don't actually send them the kits physically, do you? Or I do, yeah. You I, do. I, can, I can I put the kit in the post. Oh, you do? Okay. Uh, but uh, you don't do the test results. No, <laughs> no. Uh, that, that gets done. I, I've in, seen you in a white coat. It's not pleasant, you know. <laughs> the, the testing is still done in the States. Right. Uh, and, uh, so that's why it takes three or four weeks yeah, to, to come through then. Yeah. Right. But you can save time by me sending my kit in the ass. Okay, very good. And obviously, I mean, it's only fairly recently that Strathclyde took this on or yeah. started up, so it's, it's obviously increasing in yeah. strength. And, you well, know. The, the project, the Scottish project, has been done for 10 years. Yeah. So we, we've got over 2,500 participants. Right. Uh, it's one of about the third or fourth biggest in the world uh, uh, geographical project. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we've got um, a lot happening, and we've got some good plans for the future that we're trying to develop. Um, Very good. Uh, so but you're we'll obviously announced on our blog. Today, today, you're obviously here just on the Strathclyde. Stall, yeah, yeah. Uh, University of Strathclyde, the, the genealogy courses. A lot of interest or lots of interest. We've run got, off your feet or we are <laughs> run off our feet. Uh, lots of people who are looking at change of career, uh, career development. Uh, a lot of folk who are actually keen to just increase their general knowledge of their uh, genealogical uh, knowledge. Uh, we should explain. So, we both did the first year of this course. We did. We were the yeah. guinea pigs. Yeah, uh, we're still talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <just> survived. <laughs> Very good. And um, so, if people want to find out about the Strathclyde course, um, what do they do? How do they? They can. The, there's a website, uh, Strathclyde. That's the one. Yeah, that's yeah. The one. <laughs> Google it. Google, Google Strathclyde. Uh, postgraduate uh, courses, uh, and it's up to MEC level. Uh, that's we've got about 100 students uh, on doing the course this year. You're a tutor on it now as well. I'm a tutor. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so God help the students, yeah. then, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Ali, thanks very much, and uh, I hope you have a good show for the rest of the, yeah, for the, the three days. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so speak thank again. you very much, too. Bye.